if the game you do play is on this, yay! It means it's guaranteed gonna be good! What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing a tech thing. Yeah, we are reviewing a controller, Riot Powers ESL iOS controller. This is a mobile controller for iPhones. Shout out to Riot Power for sending me this so I can review it and let you guys know what it's all about. Mobile controllers that I'm familiar with are normally the ones where they have the attachment on the top of the controller or they have the backbone and they have the controls on the sides of the phone. This one is pretty unique. It is on top of the controller. Yeah, it's on top of it. Now, I found that really interesting and I was like, oh, I wonder how this is going to work. And it was fine. I mean, I'm looking at my phone straight down to it and the controls like me touching the buttons, the analog sticks and whatnot was just underneath it. It was totally fine. I was like, oh, this is pretty comfortable actually yeah and you have this you have this cord you connect it to your phone and that's the connection it's not bluetooth it's not under it's not part of this thing over here the connection no it's a cable it's a cable which is good because if anything happens if like this is a big if if anything happens you can replace it you can detach this, replace it with a new cord and whatnot, and you can use this controller with your phone again. But that's a huge if, all right? And if you need to charge your phone, you can charge it right over here. Yeah, simple, right? And if you wanna use your earphones and you wanna connect it over here, totally fine. You can do Bluetooth earphones, that's fine also. Now what's interesting about this is not only is it comfortable, not only is it over here and this part can just move. It's super, super flexible. Yo, you can make it however you want. You can share your videos, your pictures. I'm like, oh, that's super handy, right? Besides that, the regular controls, the controls that we all use, that we know, it's really responsive. It's smooth. It's clean no lag so far i mean maybe they will be later on like much later when you know the product is aging i mean isn't that when that happens when controllers age like duh but besides that it's so smooth and responsive like i have full confidence when i'm playing with this oh so good so good but if you have any other experiences with this, let me know in the comments below. Next, I'll show some footage of me using this in real time. Hello, welcome to the real time of using the Riot Power ESO iOS controller. Now, I need to let you know that when you do get the controller, you're gonna get this little card that's gonna have you scan the code on it, and it's gonna lead you to a page on your phone to register the controller. You're gonna register your controller, and then it's going to recognize what it is, and then it's gonna give you a link or send you to another page of a user manual, a guide manual for the controller, how to install it, how to install the software, how to connect it. That way everything is all smooth. Like what I said before, the way it responds, how smooth it is and whatnot. You need that. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna send you to an app. Now it's gonna send you to this Ludo app. I hope I'm saying it right. L-U-D-U-M-A-P-P. -P. So it's like Ludo M app. Yeah. So this already has some games that's going to be compatible with the controller. There's some free games. There's some games that you pay for and whatnot. You don't have to use games from this app. But if the game you do play is on this, yay! It means it's guaranteed going to be good. So we have this already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it. So we're going to connect it like this. Ooh, yeah. And then I'm going to use this cable over here and then connect it. I'm going to connect it like so. Boom. And it's going to ask 
to connect it and whatnot. Ignore, allow. I already put allowed. I did this ahead of time to make sure that this ran smoothly for this real time demonstration for y'all. Now over here, it's also telling me about the PS Remote Play. It says how to set up. One, install PS Remote Play on your iPhone or iPad. Two, add your iPhone or iPad to the console's remote play devices. Three, open the app and start playing. I haven't done that yet because I'm just concentrating on mobile games that I had. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the mobile game that I was playing this on, which was Final Fantasy VII. Soldier, first soldier. <laughs> uh, I was playing the first soldier game. So over here, you can see me moving around the analog sticks. Yeah, making it turn around, and then uh, moving my character and such, moving around where I'm looking at. I can jump, pressing the buttons, it jumps. I can slash, pressing on Y. Okay, so let's go to this area here. It's like clear. Okay, cool. Of course, this is like the tutorial thingy. And over here, slash, 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 clear. Oh, that was quick. And then you're gonna see me move around. It's very responsive. Jump, jump. Ooh, climb. So how are you gonna get there? We have to go through here and then it says, ooh, you found an item. Yay, ooh, you found ammo. Yay. Ooh, look, enemies. It's like, okay, how do we shoot at these enemies? What am I supposed to do? I believe I'm supposed to like press the trigger and then shoot. Yep, that's right. You press the trigger to shoot. Can I focus? Yep, I used L2 to focus. And it's like giving me a tutorial to like press and whatnot, but I'm not gonna press because I have my controller. This part, I'm gonna showcase the share button over here where you can take a photo, a recording, and then share it to social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And with Isekai Memories, I wanna record some of the videos, okay? Let me just show you this part over here. Isn't this pretty? Isn't this amazing? So I'm gonna press this button here. It's gonna allow me to take a picture. You saw that little shot right there. But when you are recording, you have to hold down the share button and then it's gonna prompt you to allow recording. So this says allow screen recording in slime memories. And you're like, don't allow, record screen. Record screen, heck yeah. And now it's saying replay recording, recording video started. And so it's starting the recording now. And when you want to end the recording, you have to hold on to the share button for like a few seconds again. So we're gonna let this run first because that was the whole point of this. It was to record this section over here, the part where they do their special moves, where it looks amazing. And then we hold down for a few seconds and it says, capture highlight. Capture highlight has been saved to photos. So as you can see here, there's actually a lot of games. So if we go down here, it has like the main page and then we go over here, it go, has the games and it has like the different types of genres. And it also has compatible apps too, for example, console streaming. And then it has over here drones and utilities. It just gives you some options that you can download to make the performance better and such. Now, my genre that I like is RPG. Booyah, and look at all these options here. And there's some titles that I recognize. For example, I think I saw one here by Kemco. It was, ah, here we go, As Divine Geos. We reviewed some games for Kemco for the Switch. And Kimco has a lot of games available mobile. So it's really nice to see that it's also in the Ludo app, meaning that it's like, yeah, mobile game compatible. We're being consistent here. I like that. Another game that I was pleasantly surprised to see was Chrono Trigger. I have this game on my DS and I'm knowing that it's also here, kind of hyped me up. I'm like, ooh, I wouldn't mind playing this again on my phone, okay? And that's my review of Riot Pirates ESL iOS controller 
for the iPhone. Let me know what you thought about the controller, what you thought about this video, your experiences. Are you going to get it or you're not going to get it? Why? In the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Supervina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reviewing Riot Power's ESL iOS controller for the iPhone to play mobile games. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!